Meghan Markle is the one dictating the agenda of Prince Harry's memoir, Spare. Author and commentator Tom Bauer lashed out at Meghan and even accused the former suit star of exploiting the royal title. Speaking with Susanna Reid, Tessa Dumlop and Ed Balls on GMB, he said, He'll keep his princely title, it's Meghan I'm after. His book is really Meghan's. Meghan is the person who's dictated this agenda. Balls was quick to challenge Bauer, piling in, The book is by Harry, it's not even by Meghan. Doubling down on his claim, Bauer added, Do you think he's read it? It's ghost written. Meghan has actually read every word. Meghan is highly intelligent, very sophisticated. He also added, Queen Elizabeth II saw right through Meghan, despite Dunlop's protestations that the late monarch wanted the pair to hold on to their royal titles, and said that other members of the firm were suspicious too. William saw through her, Charles saw through her, Diana's brother Charles Spencer saw through her, she was adventurous, who came here to make fame and fortune, gone back to America, is exploiting a royal title, is making money out of causing misery. And Jonathan Sakadoti has claimed, Prince Harry appeared to be tapping into the vogue for victimhood, with a strange choice of title for his new memoir. He said, One would hope that by now, especially with therapy and a new life abroad, away from all the duties he once had, he'd have moved on and not felt the need to title his book that way. He might as well have called it Victim. It's a catchy and clever title, but quite sad. In fact, he seems keen to tap into the vogue for victimhood that maybe plays well with some of his intended audience. He added, The title is strange, he really wasn't treated as a spare in many people's eyes, even when he was a working royal. He was massively popular and was respected by many for his military service. Harry's role had enabled him to pursue his interests, live a life of fun and parties, and still continue to be a working member of the royal family. He added, he was still able to let his personality show through more than William was perhaps allowed, unburdened by the extra responsibility of knowing he'd one day be king. He had a defined and rewarding role and was constantly looked after and made to be a key part of the royal family's work, rather than a spare to its main aims and endeavours. Mr Sacerdoti said, Some people may wonder if he feels like a spare now in his new life. He's often seen as playing second fiddle to his actress wife and her ambitions to present audio programmes, write picture books, and possibly even start a political career in America. He features occasionally in her publicity as a walk-on character, commenting on hairstyles or clowning about outside a window. Besides, expert Tom Slater believes it's a funny kind of private life for Harry, whose frequency to speak out about his experiences sees him labelled as a victim of the therapeutic era. Expert Slater said, I don't think that's very good for him, and it's certainly not a very good look for the royal family, which are constantly seeing these sorts of stories all over the coals. When the whole point of this was that they're meant to move on and sort of carve out a private life. It's a funny kind of private life when you're constantly talking about your own experiences in the media and in your own ghost-written biographies. 